The 2019 Corvette ZR1 is a 755 horsepower All American supercar. Chevrolet is calling this the most powerful and fastest Corvette of all time. That larger displacement supercharger should in theory take care of the Z06's overheating issues, as it won't have to spin as quickly to produce the same forced induction pressure. Top speed of the ZR1 is over 210 miles per hour. The latter is a first ever on a Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. Heated and vented Napa leather trimmed seating is also available, as well as a carbon fiber rimmed steering wheel, competition sport seats performance data recorder, Bose premium audio system and more. There's been a lot of speculation on what engine could power the new VET ZR1, but Chevy finally cleared the air, it's a supercharged LT5 6.2-liter V8 power plant that churns out 755 horsepower, 563 kilowatts, and 715 pounds to foot of torque, 969 newton meters that Chevy grafted inside the ZR1. The ZR1's LT5 6.2 liters V8 engine advances Corvette's supercharging legacy, which began with the 2009 sixth generation ZR1 and continued with the 2015 seventh generation Z06. The team had to work around structural changes in the front end as well to accommodate some of the additional cooling systems, and the front fenders are roughly a half inch wider in large part to fit the wider front tires, P285-30 ZR19 front, P335-25 ZR20 rear. Chevrolet is also announcing a new Sebring Orange design package. It generated 375 horsepower and to manage the power Chevrolet upgraded the car's brakes, steering, and adaptive damping suspension. As we've seen in the multitude of spy videos from the Nürburgring, there are two aero packages available for the ZR1. The vehicle was discontinued after 1995, production totaling fewer than 7,000 units. According to Chevrolet, the 2019 Corvette ZR1 tips the scales at 3,524 pounds equipped with a hand-built, supercharged 6.2-liter V8, the third installment of the ZR1 made 638 horsepower, boasted a top speed of 205 miles per hour, and included lots of carbon fiber bodywork a magnesium front cradle, a unique rear axle design, carbon ceramic brakes, a magnetic ride control suspension, a six-speed manual gearbox with a twin disc clutch, and a launch control system to maximize acceleration. First, there's the low wing option that enables the highest top speed while generating 70% more downforce than a standard Z06. An all-new front fascia is created to channel air for a propulsion system and drivetrain cooling, with four new radiators bringing the heat exchanger total to 13. Indeed, the ZR1 has a total of 13 heat exchangers, not to mention a special carbon fiber halo hood with a gap for the supercharger and intercooler assembly. The new wings, for example, help generate more downforce without adding drag, enhancing road holding and top speed. The adjustable high wing is part of the new ZTK performance package, which also includes a front splitter with carbon fiber end caps, Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 summer only tires, and specific chassis and magnetic ride control tuning for greater cornering grip. Both wings are connected directly to the chassis, just like C7.R race car, for extra strength and stability. Either way, you get front and rear two-piece carbon ceramic matrix rotor brakes, with fixed six-piston aluminum calipers at the front, and fixed four-piston aluminum calipers at the back. Even so, you likely won't be able to match the ZR1's overall performance at its price, no matter how hard you try. Two rear wing designs are available for the 2019 Corvette ZR1, each tied directly to the chassis just like with the Corvette C7.R racing vehicle. In this respect, then, the auto remains the bargain that the Corvette has always been, while at the same time reasserting itself as America's definitive sports car.